You're watching the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip disassembly. Go ahead and remove the SIM tray. First, you want to heat up both of the back plates so you can loosen up the adhesive underneath it. And then you're going to use a plastic pry tool to work your way around and gently pry off the backs. There's a cover over here covering the connector. You're gonna have to pop that cover off. Next, go ahead and disconnect the cable. So here are your two back covers. This one's the one with the LCD screen. So it looks like Samsung also took the same approach with the two battery method. They have one battery here, a larger one, and a smaller rectangular battery right over here. You have 14 Phillips screws you need to remove at this point. Once your screws are removed, remove this cover over here. And then disconnect your battery cable for the bottom battery. Next, go ahead and lift up this top cover over here. And then you're going to disconnect your battery cable, that's on the top part. Now disconnect your wireless charging pad. Peel it off. Here's a closer look at that. Now we're going to remove the speaker assembly. So here's your speaker assembly. Now we're gonna go ahead and disconnect the cable for the screen, located right here, as well as the rest of the cables. You have your power button, the flex cable connector right over here. Disconnect that. We're also gonna disconnect these flex cable connectors, which lead from this flip to the other one. You have one more cable here. And you have your cable over here for your earpiece and top mic right there. Your main mic is gonna be down here on the bottom. You have one Phillips screw holding down the main board located right here. Go ahead and unscrew that. Now we're gonna disconnect the front facing camera. Pop it up. Now we're gonna remove the main board. So here's your main board. You have your SIM reader right here. You have your camera assembly right here. The two cables are located right there. If you want to disconnect them, just pop it off and remove it with this metal frame. It has bordering it. Your proximity sensor is located right here. And here's the other side of the board. They're using that board on top of the other board layout. So basically, you have a smaller board that's sitting on top of the main board. You guys can see right there.
Now we're going to remove the battery on top. So here's that battery. Now we're going to remove the charger port board down here. Disconnect the cable. So here's that board. Here's your mic, the gold piece right there. Here's the other side. So there's no rubber gaskets or anything like that to prevent any type of liquid damage or water getting inside the phone. All right, so for the larger battery, you're gonna have to apply some heat and then try to make some leverage from the side of the battery. So get a pry tool in there. Time for the membership card. So here's the larger battery. All right, so if you need to replace the power button, there's a plastic cover over here you'd have to remove first. And for the volume keys, the flex cable is here. There's a bracket over here, just slide it up and it comes out of the frame. Now for Samsung design on the flip phone, they basically made it somewhat of a repairable design as far as most of the components go because you'll be able to remove the back covers of the phone and gain access to the battery or other parts you need to replace. However, when it comes to the screen, that's a whole different story because on this design, the screen is actually adhered to the frame. So your screen cable is right here. You have these cables over here, which are run through the flip area where the hinge area is to come out on this side and connect to this board over here and the battery over here and so forth. But the screen itself, there's a small thin border right there you can see. It's attached to the frame over here. So now we're gonna have to pry that off, hoping we don't damage the screen itself. All right, now we're gonna peel off the plastic border that goes around. So basically over here on the middle part of the phone, these two latches right here that indent in, basically keep and force the screen in the center where the crease is down so it doesn't like fold over like how the razor does a little bit that you could get underneath it. So basically it keeps it flush and down. So when you're closing it, you can see that right there, how it holds the screen down. All right, once those borders are off, you're gonna have to pry the screen off carefully so you don't damage it. Be careful on the bottom part over here, not the side where the camera is. The opposite side, the cables run through the mid-frame, so be careful you don't tear that. Just use something thin you could get underneath the metal plate of the screen. And then you're gonna have to work your way around, prying it off. And apply heat as needed throughout the process. I already took this apart once, so it's somewhat easier for me. All right, once you pry the screen off a little bit so all the adhesive is loose, then you're gonna have to gently slide the screen down and out of the frame. So here's a look at the screen. Same thing like the razor, it's paper thin.
And one thing to point out, you have magnets all around the corners. Now peeling off this film over here reveals the hinge mechanism underneath it. So you can see the mechanism over here inside as you close and open. And there you have it guys. Now I'm gonna go ahead and reassemble the phone. Once you got all the screws back in place, reconnect the cable for the outside screen. Now we're going to put the cover back over. And then we're going to put the bottom cover back on. I'm going to flip it over, power it on, and you're done. Thanks again for watching, guys. I'll see you guys in the next video.